What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be doing another episode of the series where I rate your squads. So let's, you guys want me to rate your team, go follow me on Twitter at DBGYT underscore, and I will rate, uh, I'll rate some people's teams. So basically I tweet out every, every week, send teams, however you guys can see there are 589 replies. So this would take me 10 hours. This would take me 10 hours if I spent one minute per team. So I unfortunately cannot get to everybody. And at least now that I'm sending out these tweets and not just asking people to put a hashtag, everyone complaining that I haven't got to their squad. Literally 500. Or literally 500. So, let's take a look right here at some of these. Okay, this is interesting. So no money spent, but he's got Gerald Wallace. That's, that is an interesting, interesting thing. Like, like, that's not an easy thing to do, to collect that many cards. Like it's weird seeing a nobody spam player going for collector level. And the crazy thing is, is that like, a lot of people be saying, why would you ever have Marcus Smart? But like, I mean, make Marcus Smart's pretty damn good. Bailey Howell versus Mello is an interesting one because Bailey Howell's way better on defense. Mello's a way better shooter. I, I think Bailey Howell's better. I Like, I have Mello on my team purely because he has a diamond contract. But like, Cliff and KG are my two centers. I don't rate Gerald Wallace a power forward. Like, the problem is that Gerald Wallace is too small to play power forward. DeMar DeRozan doesn't have good enough... He's too small and he doesn't have good enough rebounding. I like Buddy. I like Jalen Brown. I actually really like Baron Davis. Baron Davis is so good. He's so good, lads. He's, like, way better John Wall. Is he worth 750 tokens? For most people, no, because you can just liquidate those tokens into about 250 KMT. But, like, he's not worth that. But, I mean, if you have the tokens and you don't want to spend... Like, that 250 KMT... That I'm saying you can liquidate to it's it's like hours and hours and hours of like auctioning off stuff. So at the end of the day, Baron Davis is pretty damn good. He just doesn't have slash. Like if he has slash or dribble style, he'd be probably the for two point guy in the game. Like he'd be way better than Gary Payton. And for me anyway, he's equally as good as Gary Payton. Anyway, he's my starting point guard. Um, I love your two guys. Your wings are literally I run Buddy Heald at the two. Like Buddy Heald, Scotty, Jalen Brown are three of my four wings. Um, DeRozan's fine. This is very similar to my team. I don't think my team is that good, by the way. So I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10. I only think my team is like just over an 8 out of 10. But still, um, it's a really good team. Man, Benitez sacked already. Imagine selling Luca Dean because he didn't like Benitez and sacking Benitez. That's hilarious. Okay. 390k next gen. Run through starters and hard enough to bench. Iverson isn't going to D. I have Smart in there. You know what? I actually don't mind Avery Bradley in there. If you run through Harden, I don't mind Avery Bradley. Um, I'm not... You got 390k. I'm not that much a fan of Bern... Bernani's all right, though. Like, for five, he's such good value. It doesn't matter which version of Bernani you get, because the only difference is volume shooter. But, like... Oh, I'm telling you, this is a nice little team. I would definitely go for the other version of Draymond. I would upgrade to the other version of Draymond. Iverson, DeRozan, Badge. No quick first step on DeRozan. Yeah, we'll save up a quick first step. There'll be a time and it's cheaper. But yeah, you kind of do need quick first step on DeRozan if you want to be any other than a catch and shoot player. Um, so I think someone other than Bargnani that's not ridiculously expensive. It's hard. It's actually hard because most of the guys that are at that level of Bargnani or at a better level of Bargnani are ridiculously expensive. You know what? Honestly, just keep Bargnani. Keep Bargnani. Surprise I'm saying this because I kind of like Bragnani, but in terms of the grand scheme of things, I wouldn't use him. I mean, if you do happen to get Maurice Lucas or you're playing TT offline and get Cliff, those guys are better than Bragnani. Um, and obviously, Serge is better. But Bragnani's fine. Or if you get Siakam, even Siakam at the five is better than Bragnani. Still, okay, this is an interesting team. Badged out Clay, Dolph, and Miles. 350 KMT on current gen Xbox. Plays top 100 in quals. Don't know if that means you're good. Yes, of course it does. Like, can we... If there's if there's one thing you should ever take from my videos, it's that if you finish top 100 in the world in a qualification tournament, yeah, you're probably very, very good. You're probably very good at the game. And uh, it is high, also highly unlikely that anyone who has dedicated an entire social media account to 2K, like a lot of people, are quote-unquote casual players. No, no, we, we're, all, we're all sweats. I can almost guarantee almost, pretty much everyone who's sending your team out to uh, to be rated is probably well above average. You might just be getting sweated in high bracket SUM Unlimited and be like me. I'm, I'm 20-0 and 0 in clutch time. 
I'm I'm 19 and 1 in my last 20 unlimited games and I'm like 12 and 0 in TTO. So like between those games, I'm like 51 and 1 between those two game modes, three game modes. And uh, I had a 50% win rate in limited last year. I'm 51 and 1 in every other game mode. And like, you might be saying, oh, you just don't play 5 and 5. Dude, I'm 20 and 1 in limited. <laughs> like, it's just, unlimited is a different thing. Unlimited with SPMM has made good players feel like they're bad. And it's made awful players. Well, awful players feel like they're good because they never play against good players. And this team, Dame, Ja. I think Ja's a little bit outdated right now. Uh, especially because you've got, uh, I would probably, I would rather Marcus Smart. Or a Bradley in there instead of Jamarant. Preferably Marcus Smart. Um, Buddy Heal, Julius Irving's alright. Julius Irving's too expensive for what he is. Like, considering you have Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown is equally as good as Dr. J. Um, I would just sell Dr. J, get your MT, and put in um, Jalen Brown. George Mike in a power forward is not a good idea. In this day and age, put him at center. I get it. Clint Capella is a pretty decent... Um, he's a pretty decent center. He's not, like, he's the same height as George Mike. So he's small. At the power forward position, I would probably put in like a, I mean, a Jonathan Isaac works, but at this stage in the game, there's better options you can put in there. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think um, what players can be put in for at that power forward position that are cheap. Like Kuz is all right. Kuzma's all right. I'm literally having to open, open up the database because I can't think off the top of my head. Power forward, including secondary data added. Dio. Dio works. You can play him there. If you're on a budget. Dio is very, very solid. But um, other than that, there's really not... Um, like, Franz Wagner is okay. Sadiq Bay, Sadiq Bay is good. Sadiq Bay, maybe a power forward mic in the center. That's what I do. Your team is probably like a. Your team is probably it's it's worse than mine. It's a six, it's a seven, seven out of ten right now. I consider an I'll judge mine as an eight. This is like a seven. Okay, let me find. This is just this is a flex squad. Find one. It's a good squad, but not a flex. I mean, so many people have Jameson. Dude, there's one point... I'm, I'm just putting it out there right now. You've got 1.8 million, just buy Penny Hardaway. Like, Penny Hardaway... Like, look, the difference between... If you had 200k, I would say, yeah, keep your squad the way it is. But, like, if you've got 1.8 million, who cares? you got a 1.75 million and get Penny Hardaway in for Josh Giddy. Penny Hardaway is so much better than Josh Giddy. Giddy is really good if you don't have the MT for Penny Hardaway, or Penny Hardaway will cost you most of your MT. And you want to talk point guard, but no, Josh Giddy is not, not the move when you have that much empty. Um, Bailey Hell to power forward, Rudy Gay to small forward. That makes absolutely no sense. I get it, Rudy Gay is bigger, Rudy Gay is bad rebounding stats, and no rebound chaser, whereas Bailey Hell's got half rebound chaser, and he also has half intimidator. The power forward sits in the corner almost 100%, of the, or it's not half intimidator, half interceptor. The power forward sits in the corner almost all the time, leaving Bailey Hell um, to be able to hawk those lanes, as well as that... Um, on offense, Bailey Howe is going to sit in the corner more often than not, being at the power forward position. So with that 79-3 ball and the great release, he's getting green consistently. Your centers are fine. DeRozan's fine. Joe Johnson, um, I would see if you can get the other version of Joe Johnson. The half point for a step is big. And I would spend a little bit of MT on getting stamina. A stamina boost diamond shoe on him. Like 85 stamina, he has one lung. Like, he he's... He gets tired in this game faster than I get tired. I got tired in real life after basically not playing sports for two years after COVID. That's the equivalent of Joe Johnson. Like He's getting gassed like Luca in the first 10 games of the season. Or in the first probably 15 games of the season. Luca's balling now, by the way. He's absolutely balling. All Spurs squad. This is interesting. All right, look. You're, you're asking your team to be rated. This is a more than usable team. I'm going to put it out there. This is a more than usable team. Like, you're going to struggle with your backup center and Larry Keenan. Because they all have to be Spurs logos, I'm guessing LaMarcus Aldridge is not a Spurs card. So, I'm trying to get any. I'm going to look for players from the Spurs. Select team. 
San Antonio Spurs. See out of any. Any good players from the Spurs, so. Tony Parker. He sucks, but he's fine. He's also fine. I was like, Corey Joseph on the bench somewhere. Corey Joseph's probably going to play on the bench. Well, they really don't have any power forward slash Sanders. There's been no San Antonio Spurs power forward slash Sanders in season one. Oh my god. Larry Keenan is the best Spurs power forward off the bench. Holy crap. Holy crap. Like, this is the best you can get. Uh, James Silas doesn't need to be in there getting Corey Joseph instead. Brent Barry, Matt Bonner. Yeah, that's fine. Matt Bonner can't even shoot, though. So, I like your starting five. I, I'm not a fan of Parker, but, I mean, for all-time Spurs five, it's fair enough. And I love that Ginobili card. But, yeah. 10 out of 10 for the fact that you just use players you like. Using players you like, not taking it too seriously. Who the... What the hell is the 2K Mobile? And why is Obi... Why is Obi topping in there? And Mark Jackson? And Jackson Hayes? Okay, okay, okay. This is the first thing. That Dwayne Wade stinks. You got 61 badges on the guy? What? Dude, sell that Dwayne Wade with your 61 badges and just buy the good Dwayne Wade. I don't care how many badges you put on Dwayne Wade. He is not going to be as good as the other Wade. As the Evo Wade. With that range extender and the three ball. He's not going to be better. There's no amount of badges you can put to make him better. Unless you have a freaking badge that will half intimidator. Or half interceptor and... Half range on a 79 rated three point shot. Which is kind of counterproductive. Like, your bench is fine. Especially current gen. I would, if you were on next gen, I would I would advise to get rid of Jaren Jackson Jr. But on current gen, he's brilliant. Your team's pretty flawless. Like, it's again, it's a similar level team to mine, so I'm going to go 8 out of 10. That weight just needs to be changed to the other weight. And weight really needs to be changed to the other weight. Okay. Any weaker squads? Okay. 115k, mainly drive and kick and pick and pop. Like shooting and have 200k because of heat check cards. My bench could be better. Okay. Um. Funnily enough, if you're worried about the bench when Doug West is fine and Matisse Thibel is completely fine, um, Paddy Mills should not be your point guard. The guy is a six foot tall point guard who can't dunk and doesn't have range. Like, look, I like Paddy Mills. I really do. If you're, uh, if you're so, if you just have a lot of enjoyment using Paddy Mills and you want to use him, then be my guest. But at the same time, you set your team into your rated and then specifically say that. So, um, you have a, you have one fifteen k. Trying to think of auctionable players. Like, Surge is as good as you're getting for an auctionable player at his price. He really is. Surge is, ex is absolutely exceptional. Um, okay, you've also got Franz Wagner. Sadiq Bay. I mean, there's no point spending any extra MT. Just maybe move. Just maybe buy, like, Avery Bradley a point guard or Marcus Smart a point guard. Neither of those guys are expensive and they will help you out an awful lot. So, you know, Wall's gone up in price. Like, your team... If I saw this team, I would be, like, rubbing my hands together and thinking, easy win. But, like, it's a... In today's day and age, with how easy it is to get certain cards, it's probably, like, a 6 out of 10, but it's not absolutely awful. Um... Okay. Okay. This is a humble team. Um, we'll have them from Spain. Okay, so, Mr. Un or Incontestable Luka Doncic. You cannot contest Luka Doncic jump shot. You literally, you get the ball in the corner, you jab step and shoot, and it's like a 8% contest every single time, and you can green every one of those 8% contests. And then if they press triangle, they fail. Luka Doncic, if you know how to use him, he's brilliant. Otherwise, he sucks. Like, and there's card, there are cards like that. Like, for example, again, guys like Iverson... And Curry, if they suit your playstyle, they're the best. If they don't, they suck. 
Like if if they're not your playstyle, they suck. Same with Yao Ming. If you if you're a big old paint masher, he's the best player in the game. If you do anything under paint mash, he stinks. Well, if you do anything under paint mash, he's not very good. But yeah, um. So Wall Wall and Young, I would get rid of Trey Young as your backup point guard. He just does not play. I'm trying to think of the team. I would sell Mike and. In a strange turn of events, which is something that I've almost never suggested to do. Because I do not like John Collins' power forward. I think John Collins is a center in this game because of his half rebound chase and his large player build. I would move John Collins to, to center. I think John Collins is a slightly worse George Mikan. And then at the power forward position, I would, considering you have DeRozan, I chuck in Sadiq Bay. So that gives you a 65,000 um, MT. I would tactically downgrade Kevin Love to Carlos Boozer. Save like 40,000 MT or 30, 40,000 MT. And I think they're very similar cards. Um, Kevin Love is like plus eight or nine speed. But I think Boozer's release is better. So here's what it is. You sell Kevin Love and replace him with Boozer. Actually, no, replace him with a Baca. Sorry. Replace Kevin Love with a Baca. Baca's way better than Kevin Love. There's not even a bait there. You've saved like 30, 40k MT. Now it's all Mike and suddenly you're closer to 100,000 MT. Then just replace Trey Young, honestly, with like a Marcus Smart and Avery Bradley. They do the job there at that point guard position. And you can keep Brown and Uber, they're fine. And suddenly you're sitting up with a team equally as good, if not better than this. And 100,000 MT, which is the, the best way to go about the, these things. So, let's keep scrolling. Um, any really interesting teams? Who's got a hollow Kevin Durant? That's interesting. That's the first Kyrie we've seen. Baron Davis. There's not a lot. There's a lack of Baron Davis cards. I thought we'd be seeing a lot more Baron Davis. I think most of us didn't get him. Day two of playing my team this year. This sums up what I always say. You can literally make a competitive squad in one day. Like, he could have spent an hour going for Jalen Brown. And on that hour, got Franz Wagner. Josh Giddy and Jalen Brown. He spent an hour, an hour and a half going for him. And suddenly he has those three guys. Scotty Surge. He has no MT, obviously. That would be the first thing I would do. I wouldn't buy anyone. I wouldn't replace anyone. Like, you don't really have any MT to work with. Your team's actually really good. So, I just stick to your team. Your team's solid. Like, your team's more than competitive. It's like, in general, it's like a 6.5 out of 10. But it's still going to be more than competitive most of the time in my team limited really is so i can't um i can't knock i can't knock this team for two days playing the game for two days playing the game you've done a really good job you've built a good team you've got good players every position you've got like a wagner who doesn't seem to who just plays way better than you should your team is actually really really nice so we're two days in with not without spending money let me give you a 10 honestly let me give you a 10 but just for in general, it's probably like a five. But for what for two days in, the fact you can make a competitive competitive team, the fact you can make a five out of ten team, and that's even high bracket unlimited five out of ten in two days is nuts. Okay. okay Avery Bradley's there at the one here. There's a lot of Avery Bradleys. Okay, this is a bit weird. I do not, I'm just saying this, I do not like Bob McAdoo at power forward. Actually, you know what, he's actually, he's fine there, he's fine there. You've got DeRozan, which means you've got Jalen Brown, which means you don't need one of those two wings off the bench. You really don't. Actually, you know what, Rudy guy is so, so good. And so is Draymond. You know, screw it. Just keep your MT. Don't make any changes to the team. Um, I'm trying to think, is there a better budget center? You got 34k. Sell Mobley. Is Mobley? Mobley will get eaten alive. Not only by Yao. Mobley got eat. I literally won the weekend limited, where you could use two pink times two Amthus. I won every single game because everybody I played against used Evan Mobley as their center. And I started Evan Mobley as center, but as soon as I came up against Evan Mobley, I ran um, Zajunas Elgauskas and just backed up under the basket and paint-matched him. Like, Mo there are 
about 20 centers in this game that Evan Mobley will get bullied by. He will just get bullied down there. So my advice would be maybe a George Mikan. He's a stronger player. I don't know what price... Um, I don't know what price McAdoo is. If McAdoo is a four, I say you have McAdoo at the center. Um, maybe drop McAdoo to center off the bench. Move Draymond to um, starting power forward. And then Evan Mobley to power forward. Evan Mobley's fine at power forward. It's just he obviously can't really play Draymond at center. Yeah, if you want to move Evan Mobley to power forward so he doesn't get bullied as much, then move McAdoo to center off the bench and start Draymond. That would help your team. But other than that, your team's fine. Um, Kyrie is a card that I surprisingly like. I can't believe I'm saying this. I surprisingly like Kyrie. I normally hate Kyrie in 2K. He's actually fine. They changed his wingspan and his upper. He was Brook Lopez Kobe, wasn't he? Either way, it doesn't... They've, they're messing. It's season four. This is when they start messing with everything. Um, okay, let me see. Are there any interesting teams... First Jerry what okay, this is very weird. Because Dude's got a bum Joel Embiid starting center. I get it, he's a flawless ten, he's still a bum. Uh Jerry West starting point guard, one of the rarest players you will like you will almost never see Jerry West. It is very, very rare you see anyone pulling up with Jerry West in my team this year. Rudy Guy's really got a backup. Like you've got Joe Johnson, Terry, Jameson, Rudy Gay, who are all some of the best cards in the game. And you've got starting Joel Embiid. Like, Joel Embiid is not as good as Bernian, he's not as good as Wang Gigi. But just replace, sell Joel Embiid and get Serge Ibaka. Sell Joel Embiid and get Serge Ibaka. Ibaka's 100 times better. And Westbrook off the bench, I don't mind Westbrook, I really don't. Uh, especially when he's evo but he's just too expensive for what he is. He really is. And Jerry West is also too expensive for what he is. West is fine. Like, West really is fine. He's just way... This... I'm going to call Jerry West and Russell Westbrook. Or Jerry West especially. He's like the Baron, the Baron Davis effect. Or not Baron Davis. The Ben Gordon effect from last year. Because Ben Gordon came out and they just made him like this like demigod looking point guard. And the next week, they brought out Colin Sexton, who was like a slightly better version of Ben Gordon. And then as time went on, they bring out Lonzo, and they bring out all these better point guards. And then Ben Gordon, within about three weeks, was completely outdated. It's going to happen with Jerry West. Like, we're due a Lonzo ball, we're due a Lamelo ball point guard. 6'6", six, six with a handle, shifty dribble stop, probably at this stage in the game. Even if they don't, they're still going to be insane. We're due that 6'6 six, six point guard, and Jerry West does not have great longevity, so... I would probably sell Jerry West, sell Westbrook, and replace your point guards with Wall, who's better than Westbrook and cheaper than Westbrook. And Smart, probably. Smart. Smart works, and he's way cheaper. So then you've got a whole bunch more MT, and I'd replace Joel Embiid with Serge Ibaka. And in other than that, I like your team, especially if Clyde's badged up. Larry's a really good card. Rudy's a really good card. Blake's a really good card. So I like your overall team. Again, probably slightly... Probably slightly worse than team I run. I'll go 7.5, but it's not bad. Oh no. Oh no, I lost my spot. So I'm just going to go to a random spot here. And we're going to re review one more team. That needs quite a bit of work. This team does need a bit of work, but again, for the amount of MT total of 9k... My biggest advice to you is to sell Ray Allen, sell Tyrese Halliburton, and I assume you can't sell Jokic, but if you can sell him, that would be my biggest bit of advice. Sell every player that you're not using in your collection to build up a little bit of MT, and then you can start to uh, look to make make some changes. But again, I don't know how much MT you have just lying in dead weight in your collection. Okay. I just, I just want, seeing Reggie Lewis makes me annoyed. I haven't played that many games, I've played like 20, so I can't even be that annoyed. But still, I know for a fact, I'll play a couple of hundred. Okay. This, these are all good teams. Again, like hypothetical, like this team right here, you can see. The reason I'm not reviewing them is again, these are flex squads. These are flex squads. These guys know they have pretty much infinite. These guys know they have basically the best team in the game. 
trying to actually find out of 500 there has to be some that actually do need a little bit of work that aren't just flex squats okay come on just one just one just one we just need one one team that's not a like that's not structured perfectly you guys are getting too good at this you guys are all getting way too good at this. i remember back when i started this series in 2k20 so many of you guys had absolutely garbage squads so many of you guys had absolute garbage squads in this game scroll all the way down um Mellow is 27 halves. Okay, then keep your Mellow. Um, Dwayne Wade. Get the other Dwayne Wade. I can't even see who your bench is. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay, wait a second. Saving MT and run 5 out, dude. If you, there's saving MT and there's running reward cards for the sake of running reward cards. Just buy. You're running Mitchell Robinson. Dude, spend 70k MT. Look, I'm all for saving MT. I am all for saving MT. I have to assume you have DeMar DeRozan. Um, just get rid of Steve Francis by wall and smart three two point guards Clint Capella nah get Serge Ibaka back up get um, you could buy wall You, I think you can buy wall smart Mike in, and Ibaka for 70k buy those four keep the rest of your team Cliff Hayden surprisingly not bad I don't even mind Kelly Rupert and Calvin that's surprisingly good so if you want to keep the rest of them, go for it. But those guys, like, what the hell is 56 speed? Or 52 speed Mitchell Robinson doing there? What is Steve Francis doing there in January? But yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. So anyway, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.